I rise in support of H.R. 2117, the Protecting Academic Freedom in Higher Education Act. The legislation before us today is driven by a simple goal to ensure Washington isn't adding to the burden of rising college costs by imposing burdensome regulations. Last year, tuition and fees at public four-year colleges and universities increased over 8 percent. The average four-year public college student now graduates with roughly $22,000 of debt. Helping more students realize the dream of an affordable higher education is a shared goal. However, solving a problem like rising college costs starts with recognizing that, as is so often the case, Washington is part of the problem. Each year, Madam Chair, the, the uh, committee. Gentlemen, that's correct. Gentlemen will suspend. The committee will come to order. Members are advised to take their conversations from the floor. Gentleman from Minnesota. Thank you, Madam Chair. Each year, the average higher education institution spends a significant amount of time and money complying with federal regulations and reporting requirements, costs that can trickle down to students' tuitions and fees. H.R. 2117 will eliminate two unnecessarily burdensome regulations advanced by the Department of Education in late 2010. The credit hour and state authorization regulations were part of a so-called program integrity package that significantly increased federal intrusion in academic affairs. The credit hour regulation attempts to measure student learning at the federal level and restricts colleges from offering outside coursework and creative learning opportunities that could help students save money and graduate early. The state authorization regulation is even more troubling, as it will lead to thousands of dollars in additional costs for colleges and universities across the nation. In my home state of Minnesota, schools must spend between $2,000 and $3,500 per program, depending upon the level of degree offered, to comply with this extreme regulation. In order to best prepare today's students to join tomorrow's workforce, we must not overwhelm schools with poorly conceived regulations that lead to wasted time and money. H.R. 2117 will repeal two particularly problematic regulations protecting academic institutions and prospective students from significant financial and bureaucratic burdens. Madam Chair, I urge my colleagues to support the Protecting Academic Freedom and Higher Education Act, and I yield back the balance of my time.